Hello YouTube friends, welcome back. Thanks for viewing the video today. Um, today I'm going to be doing a little art project. It's actually for my grandson for his 12th birthday. And I'm sorry to say I cannot sell this pattern. This is a copywritten image from, you know, Minecraft. So I'm just um, showing you the image that I came up with. And I'm going to be using um, paints by Jacquard today. I'm going to go ahead and take you through the steps of what I do to create this um, this into a pillow. So uh, stick around and I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> So my grandson is very into Minecraft and I have decided to do a pillow panel for him for his bedroom that has these Minecraft characters. I have drawn my pattern out and I actually traced it and I used a light box and you can see through the black just fine if you have a light box or if you use a window. And I used a fabric marking pencil that is white. That way I can see it on the black. So I'm going to actually be turning this and working on it this direction. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using Lumiere paints. There we go. Um, those are Lumiere by Jacquard. And I'm going to be painting this on the black and leaving where all the white lines are, leaving about an, an eighth of an inch black line. So about the width of what the chalk is right now. And those will create traveling lines for when I do the stitching or the quilting on this with my black thread. So basically, I'm just going to be showing you um, how I paint this and just come along for the ride. With the Lumiere paints, you can blend different colors. You do want to do it while it's wet, though. And with these, with the pants on this particular character, they're a purple color and it's a lighter purple pretty much down here. So what I'm going to do first is actually paint with white first and then add in some purple to make it lighter in color than the other part of the pants. So I like to use square brushes so that I can have a nice straight line created by the edge. And it also makes it really nice getting into corners. And I do have like several different sizes so that I can get in there in just tight areas or I switch out to a larger one if I have a, um, a bigger area. And I'll lay down more paint. Thank you. 
have the painting completed on this piece and as you can see I've made my quilt sandwich I did put fabric behind it even though this is going to be the front panel to a pillow I find that um, a pillow goes in and out of a pillowcase much easier when there's fabric instead of a batting behind it I put a couple of pins in in the different spots there and just to kind of hold the outside but I did not put any pins in the painted area just because once you punch a hole through the paint, because it's very plastic-like, um, that hole stays there. It doesn't go away. So the next thing I did is I also took my Sharpie marker, which you see with, down there on the fabric, and I went through and any lines that I needed to just crispen up a little bit or make my spacing a little wider, I went ahead and did that as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take it to the machine. What I'm gonna do first is actually so on all the black lines that separate the colors and that's just going to block it out for me and then once I have that done then I will be doing the free motion quilting over the whole panel. Some areas where it's very small like as you see in the, the little gun the guy's holding on the left hand side there I won't bother with quilting in between the lines it's just very small so we'll just leave it as is with the outline quilting. I'll just give you my machine set up here. I do have my free motion foot on. I have a 9014 sewing needle and I have black thread both in the top and the bobbin and I pulled my bobbin thread up to the top. So like I said, I'm gonna be just sewing along all the black outline lines. It's kind of like grout lines between all of the color. So it's um, just a straight stitch, although I'm, I do have my feed dogs drop, so I'm doing the straight stitch. And yeah, it's really not so much a tutorial about how to do the stitching, I'm just showing you my process. So I'll go ahead and get started. I've pretty much done all the outlining of this piece. So now it's time to start doing the designs, the free motion quilting within the shapes. And, you know, I'm just kind of deciding as I go, I might just be kind of mimicking the actual shape that I'm working in. But yeah, just gonna have fun with it and just observe and see how I'm doing it.
I do have the stitching on the figure people um, all finished and so now it's just going to be going in the background area. all the stitching done and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this into a pillow and I will show you the finished product when I'm done. there is the finished product. I hope you all enjoyed that. And I hope you are all staying happy and healthy. And until next time, have a great one. Bye for now.